presentation that Pation and Progaps uh, to present to you this new pharmaceutical form, which name is Unigel. One dosage, uh, many benefits. Basically, the content is uh, what is Unigel, the main advantages, the technology timing and Unigel encapsulation process, and after that, uh, my colleague Diego is going to talk about the different examples of this technology. Unigel is a unique oral form that allow having tablets, capsules, granules, pellets, into one single soft capsule. As you can see in the picture, you can combine micro rounds inside a soft gelatin capsule, one or two soft gelatin capsules inside a larger soft gelatin capsule, a soft gelatin capsule and a tablet inside of a soft gelatin capsule, or a combination of all of them. As I told you, uh, this is a unique and exclusive technology from SoftGL by Procaps and Patheon that offer to you the opportunity to combine of multiple options of delivery system. The main advantages of this technology is the accurate placement of multiple delivery form that makes possible to manufacture pool style release formulation. Uh, you can have in one solid dose and a liquid dose the release, uh, like a sustained release and like a fast release at the same time. You can mix uh, insoluble activos, which cannot be mixed in a single formulation because could be an interaction, a chemical interaction between two active. You can combine uh, the time release in a single dose and combine sustained release and a single dose and gastrical or internal release in the same dose. It's the only patent technique available for fixed dose combination with incorporates the benefit of the salt gelatin capsule dose form. Um, you can see in this slide that basically you can place fixed dose inside a sophiel, which in the gastric system, you release first of all the outer capsule, uh, releasing the liquid with one active in the form like a uh, fast release. And you can obtain after that the two fixed dose or one fixed dose to release another active or the same active if you want in the sustained release or intestinal release. In some cases that the active could uh, have complication, the mixture between them you can segregate it absolutely via two soft gel capsules. The system consists in uh, a modified machine that take the fixed dose in the picture number one and it rotates it in the timing with the machine and place uh, in the picture number five, you can see the solid dose in a pocket. You can do, okay. you, can, you can place one in the right side and one in the left side. If you want, you can place in the right side a capsule in the left side a tablet, or in the right side a micro rounds, and in the left side a tablet or a combination of all of them. In this picture, you see the final product, basically the dye rolls with the 
the left side, a blue capsule, and in the right side, a red capsule or a tablet, and the picture of the final product. Now, my colleague is going to explain some examples of that you can use this new technology. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Uh, as Carlos mentioned, uh, the main application of this technology, it could be fixed dose combination. And the reason why we do fixed dose combination are different. Uh, incompatible APIs. Sometimes we need different release modes. Uh, at least one of the APIs have different physical properties that need to be separated from the other. But the advantage with Unigel is that we can incorporate the other advantage of the soft capsules, which are you can handle liquid APIs, you can handle high potent compounds because you can uh, contain a liquid suspended or in solution, and also uh, the main benefit is increased bioavailability, especially for BCS class two or four compounds. The idea is to show some potential products, some of them are already uh, business with some clients in the US or even in Latin America. But so there, this potential product are basically our customer needs. Um, some other example that we have uh, uh, created and we consider that are feasible, but auction are different. The first is Telmisartan with hydrochlorothiazide. As you know, Telmisartan is a BCS class 2 compound, but it's also a carboxylic acid. So in order to overcome the dissolution problem with this molecule, most of the tablets contain meglumin, which is a basic compound. The issue with meglumin is that meglumin degrades hydrochlorothiazide. So you can manu manufacture a bilayer tablet, but with Unigel, what we are proposing is that you can solubilize the telmisartan. Why? Because it is a weak acid, like ibuprofen or naproxen. And those compounds, you know, we have it in soft gel, uh, partially ionized with potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. The main benefit of that is that since those are base BCS class two compounds, you are increasing bioavailability, sometimes Cmax or sometimes AUC. As an example, you compare the bioavailability of Apple or ibuprofen solubilized that we manufacture compared to the tablet, and they have a faster onset of action. So you can solubilize, as I mentioned, uh, Telmisartan, and you can incorporate hydrochlorothiazide tablet. With the suitable coating, there is no any contact between the solubilized Telmisartan and the hydrochlorothiazide in the tablet. So you have the, the, the two molecules, no meglumin, and you have finally a product that you can deliver in one single dose form. Another example is a Trexamet is selling right now in the US and Europe. It's a combination of sumatritan and naproxen. This is a really interesting example because it is, according to the label, they say that naproxen, when naproxen is delivered and dissolved in the stomach, he forms like a kind of gel matrix. And that gel matrix affects negatively the bioavailability of sumatritan. So the product is sold as a bilayer tablet. We propose that we can have, for example, uh, naproxen solubilized, sorry, Termisart uh, Sumatrita solubilized. We already have that formulation with chemical stability. And you can incorporate a sodium naproxen as a delayed release tablet. The, the idea with this is that you can see it in the red or blue line, you can see what is the in vivo uh, uh, availability of the, of Sumatriptan in an immediate release tablet alone or included in a unigel. And the, the green one, the green line is the for naproxen. You can see that with this dose of four, we can deliver first Sumatriptan and then the naproxen, which is necessary according to the restriction of bioavailability of Sumatriptan because of naproxen. Another example could be when you need different release modes. And a good example is Solvita, which is for sleep issues. They use, normally, Solvita has an issue is that they, it, it acts really well during the three or four hour of, of after injection, 
but then you have not too much uh, solvent in black to produce uh, to sleep. So you can combine, for example, uh, you can have dissolved a partially dis uh, one portion of the drug dissolved in a subject and another portion of the, of the strain in a tablet or the later really tablet. So you can cover eight or nine hours of sleep, which is desirable for the treatment. We have another example in respiratory, for example, soluble acetyrisine, which is available now in the market, come in combination with pseudoephedrine. And in some countries like Latin America, where there are restrictions for pseudoephedrine, you can combine with phenylephrine or another drug like this. For gastric, for example, you can combine omeprazole pellets in a suspension of hydro magnesium hydroxide. Or in an analgesic, you can combine, for example, solubilized ibuprofen and an extended release tablet of the same API. Or you can combine ibuprofen, faster on action because it's solubilized, with a tablet of acetaminophen, which is a lower uh, uh, kinetic, so it, it remains uh, l more tiny in, in your body. Finally, there's an option for liquid APIs. And one of the more popular APIs, by the way, the most uh, sell product in soft capsule in the US market is Lovasa, which is basically a fish oil. And you can combine uh, the benefit of fish oil, uh, which is a liquid, combined with, for example, astatine, like atorvastatine or rosuvastatine. But also, we have another good idea. We get another good idea from a client to convey fish oil with a low dose, a low concentration on aspirin. So ideas are basically up to you. Today, for example, we have a, another client that asks, can you combine ibuprofen plus iosin? I would say not in a castle because iosin is really high, uh, tend to hydrolysis. But we can put a tablet of iosine in a solubilized ibuprofen, and you can have a single all doses form, which is not. There is a problem in the market with iosine in soft gel, but the shelf life is too short. So, but with unigel, we can avoid that. So, for question, comments, or you want to see samples, you can visit an our booth, and also at least to enjoy a good cup of Colombian coffee. Thank you. If you have any question, you're welcome or you can visit if you want.